checking for their names on a list of 500 plus students approved for government buzzery. Some can trace their identities, but others, it is the same old story of being left out yet again. Though genuinely vulnerable and deserving government funding, thousands of prospect university students, there are allegations that some of those given buzzery had to pay in order for them to be considered. In 2009, they couldn't give me a buzzer because they, they say then they'll consider me as a non-school leaver. But then you see names of your fellow uh, school leavers who completed in 2009, even later on having been given a buzzer. It's, it's kind of confusing. Because then, where's the... Then there must be a corrupt... It must be, there's something wrong. That's all I know. The Ministry of Education spokesperson Hiro Chipango, who has confirmed the inclusion of 569 first-year students on Bazari, dispels allegations of corruption. The total number of government-sponsored first-year students has increased from 2,420 students to 2,989 students. Bazari's committee, Deputy Secretary Brian Makofele, advises those with such complaints to raise them with the ministry or even the anti-corruption commission. For those who are making allegations of having paid anybody, if that is true, I think let them come forward. Because even the application form itself, it's only going on at a cost of 10 kwacha. With the addition of 569 students added, the total of those under government funding stands at 2,989 students, a record below the initial total of applicants. Registration for the new entrants has since been extended and November 2nd, 2014 is the final deadline. Mwapek Mwenda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.